Hi, I'm Megan. And hi, I'm Katie. We're going to teach you how to make a game on the program Scratch. Let's start by getting rid of the cat sprite that we don't want. Right click on the sprite, then press delete. Now, we have to get a new sprite. Press the paint new sprite button and click on it. We're going to import a sprite because we don't have time to draw one. Um, let's get fantasy. Yeah. Do him, do background, him, and then... I like the yellow dude. What about you? Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. How to get them, him, and... We have our sprite, and let's continue. Now, let's change the background. Press the stage, and press the backgrounds tab. Press edit, and change your background. Once again, we don't have very much time, so we're going to import a background. We want something in nature, and how about a beach? We have our background. Let's continue. We have a sprite. We have a background. Let's make the sprite smaller by clicking the shrink sprite button and click on the sprite. That's enough. Every good game has a goal, so let's make one with a new sprite. Press again the paint new sprite button and press the box. Or, if you don't want to, get something from here. But we want a home for this little yellow guy. Let's draw a home and continue. You can change the color by clicking on the bottom, clicking it, and pressing to fill and filling it. That's perfect. He's now got a place to go. And let's write home on it so he knows this is the home. Okay. Let's have his home in the corner. So he has to travel a ways to get to it. We have a home, but we need a start because he can't just start anywhere. Paint another sprite and make another box. Or a circle. How about teal? And let's write start in it. And you can also have different fills. So let's say we want a fill that kind of goes out. We can have it like that. So we don't really want that. So you can hit Control Z to undo your option. So let's go to the text button text and write start. That's too big, so you can change the size of it by going to the little box with the font and the size and making it smaller. Let's, Let's make try it 14. 14. Perfect. perfect. Let's put the start in the opposite corner than the home. And let's make it a little bit bigger because it's kind of small. Perfect. Okay. Now, this little yellow guy has to do something. So why don't you click on him and go to the control. When clicked, where does he need to go? He needs to go to the start button. So now you're going to click on motion and press go to sprite 3 because that's our home. Let's see how that plays out. Perfect. Now, this little guy has to be able to move. So, we need another when clicked button. And then, an if. And a forever. Put that forever outside the if. Okay. He wants to move. So he's going to go to sensing, and when a key is pressed, he will move. So let's make it an up arrow. Let's make a bunch of these, several of them. To duplicate, you right click on it, hit duplicate, and then click it where you want it. Okay, now we can go in all four directions. Let's change which key we have to press. So let's do down arrow, right arrow, and left arrow. 
Now, a key will be pressed, but he still has to move. So we're going to go to motion and press the change X by 10. X axis goes horizontal, so it's going to have to go on the left and right directions. Negative 10 for left. Okay. Up is on the Y. And same with down. Down is negative 10. Let's change the up back to 10. It's not set Y, so be sure not to make that mistake. Okay, he should be able to move. So Let's play. That's kind of easy. Right so now. we need some obstacles. We have to make a few. Let's go to the stage to make the obstacles. They don't need to move. Backgrounds. Edit. The beach make is kind of a hard to make a maze of. So we might want to make something easier. Maybe we could just draw our own. It won't take too long if we make it a maze. Mm -hmm. So you press clear. You press the line tool. And you draw a few lines. You can press shift to make the lines perfectly straight. And then, after that, you show so you build a C. And if you mess up, you can hit Ctrl Z because that undoes it. Let's make it simple, just a quick zigzag. And the only difference between our black cards and our color ones is Okay. So let's see how that works. Okay, so let's see if our little sprite can start. So we can click. Press the green flag. So he can go up. But we have to make sure he can't go through the lines. Can right. he go through right now? Yeah. Yes. So we're going to go to his script. Press sprite one. Press win clicked from the control tab. And forever and an if. The if goes inside the forever. And then to sensing, to put something for the if. Touching color. Let's use that. The lines are black. So let's highlight. Press black. We want him to go back to start if he touches it. So go motion. Go to. Mr. McLeod. Sprite 3. Okay. So let's see if that works. The stars got black on it, so it looks like we're going to have to change the color of our lines. So you go to stage, backgrounds, edit, and you can just hit this. And let's make it a bright green because it's pretty easy to see. And okay. now it's green. So now we just change. The sprite one script instead of black. Make it green. Make it green. Let's try again. Let's see if that works. Let's touch the line. And oh, it goes right home. back to start. Okay, so you can go to home, but you want it to say something if you make it to home. So how about we go to home and press. When touching, go to control. Um, when clicked, if forever. Okay, Mr. McLeod, we got another one. It still doesn't work. Sensing. We want him to touch sprite one. Okay. And we want it to say something. So we're going to have to make another sprite. Or you can just go to looks and have a bubble pop up. 
You win. Let's play our game. And let's change it to five seconds instead of two. So it's easier to read. Let's start. Dang it, I touched the wall, so I'll have to start over. Perfect. I won. We've made a simple game on Scratch. Hope you had fun, and hope this helped.